link down below so that you can read the patch notes on your own. There's a couple of games I have been covering lately, and some of the patch notes are just so long. And after five years of doing this on YouTube, you know, they really don't make me any money. They very rarely do. They don't get a lot of views. I know they're important for some people. And it's like I've said before, I'll always be transparent for the most part, like where I will put in the description or at least in the title, whether or not I'm actually narrating them, which is the default. And if I'm not, I'll just say link only, whether in the thumbnail, like I said, or the title. That way, you know that you're going to be forced to have to read this. But the point is, is for me to bring to you the awareness that this is even a thing. A lot of times people will thumbs down my video and honestly, I don't give a shit uh, when I don't narrate it. They're like, oh, well, why aren't you narrating it? Well, the same reason why people post the articles, you still have to read it on your own. I'm letting you know that this is a thing. And there's hundreds of fixes and improvements, stuff done to the inventory. There is going to be stuff later on coming in terms of stash expansion. And that's still in progress and it's going to be available later this year. Tweaks to the HDR, the Steam Deck, some stability and performance improvements, a couple of changes to PvP, a slight change to Revenge, some balancing that's PvE focused. Then we've got some changes to the bosses, little changes to the AI, actually quite a few. <laughs> a couple changes to the Umbral, the level design, collisions, which is good, lighting, cinematics, UI, and audio. And I think this is really cool because I don't even have the game yet. Like, I'm excited, but I have to save up some money. I got to redo my PS Plus, and Call of Duty just came out. Uh, like a Gaiden, Ninja, whatever that game is called. That just came out. I haven't bought that. You know, like, it doesn't end. EA Sports WRC, that came out. I haven't bought that either. Like, there's just so many games that keep coming out. And I really got a laser focus on just a few select games that come out here and there. This is something I think I would enjoy, but I think I would struggle with like I did uh, in Elden Ring. So that's why it's hard for me to justify 100 bucks on this game. Although I think I would probably like it more than Elden Ring. I think it would be a little bit more my style. Uh, but anyways, my point was I still want to cover this game and bring the attention when there's some updates done to the game even though I am not myself playing the game on my channel now most games that I don't actually play that I don't care about I just don't talk about them right as I am trying to move away from doing too many patch notes focus more on actual just gameplay stuff right gaming news and whatnot so there you have it as always, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. We'll bend it in half, we'll twist it, and we'll break it off in over 100 pieces. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.